Hi, good morning, guys. I wanted to come out here and start on a new video. <clears throat> Talk to you a little bit. It's like <clears throat> late. I believe I'm coming up with something. I got scratchy throat, so I had to use some um, salt water. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit old-fashioned. You know, the old people say, get some warm water and put some salt in it and gargle, and it'll pull off flame. That's what I do when I feel like a graspy throat. So I did some salt water gargle. You know, you got to do it three, at least three times a day, but I've been asleep. So got my big vitamin C. I'm going to take a vitamin C vitamin. I don't have any juice, but that has sugars in it. So this is a thousand milligrams. I take my C. Uh, I've been eating ample meats. Got some sugar in my coffee. I'm not supposed to have it. I'm going to take an iron pill. And uh, I'm not going to take my... I got a probiotic I've been taking, but I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take the iron and the C. Because I didn't eat today. <sighs> today was sort of a kind of a weird day for me. When I got off... You know, earlier I messed around and had, uh, I bought my son some donuts. We're not supposed to eat the sugars, right? <laughs> but, you know, it's the holidays, New Year's, and I said, ooh, the donuts are so pretty. So I ate a donut, and then I said, man, my son would love this. You know, he ain't had donuts in a long time. I said, well, it's coming to the New Year, so I want to treat him, you know. So I bought six donuts. I said, I know this child ain't finna eat, sit up here and eat six whole donuts. So he was grabbing at the box, just grabbing. I said, let me give you a donut. So I had a donut and a half. Uh, I think I had about a couple of swigs of coffee and some water. And then a bath and to sleep. And so when I woke up, I didn't sleep long because the phone was ringing. People was calling, you know, you can't get no sleep. Because there's constantly something going on. So, and then when I tried, after I got through with all the phones and everything, my daughter and everybody, I couldn't get to sleep. You know, after you've had all these conversations. So I said, I can't sleep. It's weird, really weird. I got to have me just one more cup of coffee. I got to. Um... <clears throat> You must get your sleep when you're trying to lose weight, especially if you're doing a natural weight loss and you're not worried about a whole lot of exercise and things like that. You got to you got to get your sleep. But we are going to invest in our arms. I do want to do some arm movement. My arms must they have to stay strong no matter what. So, I believe that this week we're going to do arms twice a week. I'm not going to do the rest of the body because we got you got to walk. You got to move your body. You got to get out and walk. You got to walk to the store instead of driving to the store. Use what Mother Nature gave you as a child to lose weight. Remember how we was in high school and I, I, I was in the country. And we had to walk a long ways to school and a long ways back home. There was no cars, you know, until you got older and somebody helped you get a car or whatever. But I believe that people depend too much on their transportations. It's okay to depend on them. But whenever you have the ability, do some walking. You know, do some walking. Walking is very good for you. It's very good for your limbs. It's very good to move your whole body in unison like that. Get out and walk. If you want, If you have to drive to a store... Park all the way on the other side. Let me tell you what I was doing. My car is down. I got to put it in the shop. And I'm going to be putting it in the shop here shortly. I don't know, you know, if I'm going to be given the hours at work to be able to get it out. I'm hoping. Uh, but it's got to be fixed. Either that or I'm going to find a shade tree mechanic. You know how you find somebody that know how to do something. So, 
my car gonna get fixed. It's the new year and my I got my goals set. Write your goals, make them plain. That's what I came on here to talk to you about. I want to talk to you guys about setting goals in order to accomplish them. Don't write some down that you want to accomplish this year and then put it on the back burner. Make yourself a priority. Make the Heavenly Father a priority every day. And when you make him a priority, guess what you're going to do with him? Have a relationship. How are you going to get your prayers answers if you don't write them down and make them plain? Write the vision and make it plain. Get you a notebook. I'm getting ready to get me three, at least about three notebooks. One is the book I'm going to rewrite again that I threw away in my manuscript. I'm going to start back rewriting the book. Number two, keeping up with my inner spirit. Because it connects to the Holy Spirit. Number three, keep telling you guys about the Holy Spirit. So we're going to do some more reading today. Um, hotline to the Holy Spirit and the Miraculous. And I want to tell you about another thing that I'm reading. Another thing that I'm reading here. I found this one at the library. It is so good. I said, look at how the Holy Spirit working with me. When I started reading about the Holy Spirit and how to talk to you guys about miracles, signs, and wonders, and how the Holy Spirit manifests through prayer, you know, writing down your vision, write down your goals, write down what you want to pray about. You know, when you get into that time of prayer that you take, you and God in, in companionship, I'm in here praying, talking to my God, my my own intellectual God, my Father in heaven. Everybody talk to God in their own way. But if you don't take the time to pray and write write your goals and talk about what they are in your prayer life, you know, how will you get there? How will you ever get there? Because some people say, oh, that's something I was going to do three years ago, but I forgot about it. Don't forget about that. Dust off whatever those ideas are. Put them down on a sheet of paper so you can start working at that. Make yourself a priority. And those who love you, put them in on it. So I'm going to put this person in on these ideas that I have. And if they love you, they're going to say, what? Let me, let me hear. What did you say? Oh, I can help you with that. Your loved ones are the ones who are closest to you will help you with the things that you nurture, that you want to see come to fruition. If they truly love you, they will. Okay, but I always get off the task when I'm talking about something. I'm not going to take long on this video because I got something else to do. I'm going to start reading some books with you guys. You guys know how AR, AI and all this new intelligence is coming about. Computer technology is upgrading because it wants to run the world. Why don't you upgrade your, your own intellectual style? So, guess what I found, guys, in the library? emotional intelligence we have emotional intelligence you guys don't know your emotions and now this right here is a great book and I'm reading it and I'm gonna take you through this I'm gonna start on this uh, this week along with me reading about the Holy Spirit because connecting to the Holy Spirit is important because God is in charge of the world but connected to your intellectual side, knowing that your emotions tell you something. Staying aware of what's going on around you tells you something. How do you stay aware? Do you know your own emotions? Do you know what this awareness is? Do you know your social intellect? Do you know things like that? So I'm going to be going through this book because a lot of people don't know how to connect to their awareness of themselves and what they are doing for one my daughter don't know that this so this book may help her if she come across the video and she see me talking about it but when she come over i'm gonna give her some ideas but know your own tendencies this book talks about that some people have a tendency to do this or to do that when something happens they jump off the chain or they get excited my daughter she has a tendency when somebody tell her something she is very feisty, so she get ready to fight because she feisty, you know. Her it not fight, but she goes into an anger mode, 
And she did that when she was a child. She would get angry about stuff. Instead of her knowing how to work through her emotions when something springs up inside of her. And so this book, Emotional Intelligence, tells you that we as human beings, we have the highest emotional intellect that there is. However, no one uses that because they don't know about what's going on inside of them. Why do they do this? Why do you do that? Because once you know how to work your emotional intelligence and connect to people and things around you, wow, I know my own interworkings. So I'm not going to let a computer technology come along, learn something about me and use it to the power of the universe. I'm going to use what God gave me to the highest power. So I need to learn about what that is. Emotional intelligence. Now this book is another one I found. This is very good, but this is talking about the chakras and the spirit side. Let's learn about the spirit. It, it, we're not going to dove off into Buddhists or whatever, because I believe in God, the Father. But it's nothing wrong with knowing what this is talking about. We don't have to use it, but we need to know what it's talking about and use it to our knowledge and power of Jesus Christ in heaven. Okay? We're not going to use it to the knowledge and power of whatever idol is in the book. But we're going to read what they're talking about to differentiate if it's right or if it's wrong. Use this along with the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe in the Holy Spirit and that's the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. Not the Spirit of Buddhists. But the different things about the Spirit, I want to see what this has to say. But I'm not going to come on here until I read this whole book before I discuss with you, but I am going to discuss this because you need to know about self-awareness, self-regulation, things about the self. Now, the reason you need to know about things about the self is because <clears throat> we are going to be meditating to get rid of stress. We're not doing a bunch of exercise this six months. Only thing we're doing is eating meats, and eating raw vegetables twice a day. That's all we're doing, walking. And we're going to do some, do some little lightweight lifting for the arms, keep the arms in shape. But <clears throat> today I didn't eat. And it doesn't bother me. I didn't eat. I ate this morning. I ate a donut. I had coffee. Um, what else did I eat? Oh, I messed around and had a cheese uh, jalapeno bagel. So I ate some grains this morning. But for some reason, I was too tired to do anything else. So I got up and I cooked two pork chops. And my son ate one and a half or whatever. I didn't even eat. I didn't eat today. I didn't have the second meal. The first meal was a bunch of garbage. It was donut and, a, and it was bread, basically, and coffee. So I spent my day. By the time I, when I did get up, it was so late at night. I said, okay, it's past 8 o'clock, so I can't eat today. So whatever that little garbage I had this morning, that's all I had. And I haven't had my protein. So this has turned into a fast for 24 hours, guys. From whatever time I ate this morning, which I think was about, when did I eat that stuff? 8 o'clock this morning, 9 o'clock this morning. So when I come off this fast, tomorrow it'll be around... 10 or 12. I'm, I'm not going to eat till about lunchtime tomorrow. And all that time, my body is resting. That's like 25, 26 hours. And I need that time just to drink water and cleanse, you know. And so tomorrow I have a lunch, you know, around 12 or whatever, you know, whatever I'm going to have. Because tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so I got to eat. I'm going to have lunch and then I'm going to have some protein for dinner tomorrow. You know, I got to eat twice tomorrow. Uh, New Year's Day, I don't know what I'm going to cook. I got a whole chicken up there. I probably cook a whole chicken New Year's Day. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, anyway, so I'm 24-hour fasting because I was too tired to do anything like cook any e extra meat. Because when I cook for my son, I have to make sure he has sufficient protein. Then I have to go back in and cook some more for myself. So today I didn't eat. But that's okay, because I've been resting. I've been getting my rest. You know, I'm so tired today. So, 
And some days are like that. Some days you'll automatically 24 hour fast. Your body needs to self-regulate. Let your body have downtime. If you forget to cook for yourself, hey, I'm fasting. I'm just going to drink me some lemon water. Now, I am drinking some coffee. When I'm not supposed to have the sugar, but I didn't eat anything. So I'm going to have me another small coffee, and I'm going to get me some lemon and squeeze it in there. And then I'm going to have me some lemon water. I'm not going to use the sugar on the second cup because I shouldn't be using the sugar fasted. All right, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you write the vision, make it plain. New Year's resolution means write your goals. Make it a set of eight. Four short-term goals, four long-term goals. The four short-term goals is what I'm going to do within the next three months to motivate myself and get my life together and print you out a three-month calendar. I got a look. Let me show you what I did. I don't know if these dates are right, but I went and I got me some calendars I printed out on the computer for the new year. This is up to April. I got January, February, March, and April. I'm going to make my short-term goals for the next three or four months a short-term goal. That's number one. This is four sets of goals. Number two. My number two short term goal because I'm not gonna, you can only work at one thing one time. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna share it with you on my next video. Well, my third video, you're gonna make two short term goals, two midterm goals. Like after you get through with those two short term goals, what I'm gonna do to the end of 2024 from the summer on to December, what am I gonna be doing? Put them two goals on there. What I'm gonna be doing. From April to this time, what I'm going to be doing from June to December. You got four short-term goals. Two right away that you must do. Two more coming up in that 2024. That's why I said eight. Four long-term goals. Your long-term goals is one, what am I going to be doing in the next two years to better myself? From 2024 to 2025. Number two, what I'm going to be doing in the next three years, 2025 to 2026. Then you got two more. I want you to put in four years, what am I going to be doing? In six years, where do I see myself? Write your eight goals down. And then we're going to talk about that. All right. You need eight goals. You need two immediate within the next three to six months you need two immediate within the next 2024 20, year you need four more goals the next goal is going to be in two years three years four years in six years you want to look six years down the line with everything in six years will i have this new whatever i'm about what am i doing what am i doing in my life Okay, talk to you later. Write that down. You need eight goals. You need to go to the dollar store. Get you some notebooks and write them down. Make it plain. Pray about it. Bye.